Hi everybody, we're talking from the set of our new film Belfast. And action! Belfast is a city of stories, and particularly at the end of the 1960s, it went through an incredible, tumultuous phase in its history. You wouldn't want to be the old man out in the street. You touch my family and I'll kill you. I and my family were part of that. It's a very, very personal remembrance of that time when Ken was a small boy. I think my dad wants us to leave Belfast. It's a joyful script in many respects, considering, you know, the, the very troubling aspects of what's happening. But it's also funny. I know I think there's loads of humour in it. Do you think me and that wee girl have a future? Women are very mysterious. And women can smash your face in two, mister. Your granny's become less mysterious over the years. You know, I think family is so important as part of the Irish culture. You have your families, but you also create these extended families in your community with your neighbours. Ken and I actually grew up less than a mile away from each other when he sent the script. That just opened up huge things in my heart about history, time, childhood. It's a spirit and a vitality and a humour which I think is very life-affirming. My mom says if we went across the water, they wouldn't understand the way we talk. That shouldn't be a problem, son. I've been married to your granny for 50 years. I've never understood a word you said. What do you want? I want my family with me. I want you. Ken's amazing at that sort of bringing out all the core goodness of people. It's a love letter to childhood. I hope that people feel the joy and sometimes the sorrows of what happens in that city. In stories like this, maybe we understand that we are not alone when, we're, when we look at these reflections of other lives. You know who you are, don't you? Yes, Pop. Your buddy from Belfast, where everybody knows you. And your mommy looks out for you, your daddy looks out for you, your, the whole family looks out for you. And wherever you go, that'll always be the truth. <laughs>